guys and welcome to the dentist hub in today's video we're gonna discuss some of the statement based questions in biochemistry that were asked in previous year papers so here are the list of statements that we're going to cover in this video vitamin k deficiency leads to bleeding ammonia is toxic to the body cellulose is not digested by our body Optimum level of fluoride needed for healthy teeth. Cholesterol cannot be transported in the blood and the role of fiber in diet. So let us begin with vitamin K deficiency leads to bleeding. Vitamin K helps in blood clotting. It causes post translational modification of some blood clotting factors. Vitamin K acts as coenzyme for carboxylation of glutamic acid it helps in conversion of glutamate to gamma carboxyglutamate gamma carboxyglutamate residues combine with calcium ions to form a complex this complex binds to the platelet membrane and helps in conversion of prothrombin to thrombin ammonia is toxic to the body even the marginal elevation in the blood ammonia concentration is harmful to the brain. Ammonia when accumulated in the body results in slurring of speech and blurring of vision and causes tremors. It may lead to coma and finally death if not corrected. Hence ammonia is toxic to the body. Coming to the next statement, cellulose is not digested by our body. It is composed of beta D glucose units linked by beta glycosidic bonds. Cellulose cannot be digested by mammals including man due to lack of enzymes that cleaves beta glycosidic bonds. Therefore, cellulose is not digested by our body. Optimum level of fluoride needed for healthy teeth. An intake of less than 2 parts per million of fluoride prevents the development of dental caries. It forms a protective layer of acid-resistant fluorapatite with hydroxyapatite of enamel and prevents the tooth decay by bacterial acids. It also inhibits the bacterial enzymes and reduces the production of acids. Cholesterol cannot be transported in the blood. Since cholesterol is water insoluble molecule, it must be packaged for the transport within plasma. It is carried in the bloodstream as spherical lipoproteins. About 25 to 30 percent free cholesterol readily exchanges with different lipoproteins like LDL, HDL and VLDL and is transported into the bloodstream. The role of fiber in diet. Complex compounds that are not digested by human enzymes form the dietary fiber. It prevents constipation by increasing bubble mobility, eliminates the bacterial toxins by absorbing the toxic compounds, decreases the GIT cancers, Improves glucose tolerance by diminishing the rate of glucose absorption from the intestine. It lowers the plasma cholesterol level. Increases the satiety value by adding weight to the foodstuff ingested and gives a sensation of stomach fullness. So these are some of the important statement based questions asked in biochemistry. Hope you found it informative. In the next video, we're gonna cover the Vandenberg's test, Von Geek's disease, maple syrup disease, phenylketonuria, alkaptonuria, and Hartnup's disease. So, subscribe and stay tuned to the Dentist Hub.